I was hungry, and you offered me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was homeless, and you warmly sheltered me. I was needy, and you helped me. Hello, and welcome to Know Before You Go, a program of the Dominican Central Province of St. Albert the Great that allows us to take a look ahead at the upcoming weekend's readings. I am Father Jim Marchanda back from Italy in the first part of my sabbatical here in my music studio in Chicago. And that song that I just sung, the refrain anyway, was I Was Hungry, a setting of Matthew 25, which is the gospel that we receive from the church for today's feast, which is the feast of what we used to know as Christ the King, and today is called our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. As I said in a word of hope on last Sunday, as we get toward this end of the church year, this feast of Christ the King of the Universe is the final Sunday of our liturgical year before next weekend's Advent and the beginning of a whole new cycle. And there's such an urgency to the readings, trying this year to get us to understand what important parts we play in the unfolding and the coming to be of the kingdom of God on earth. Matthew 25 is this magnificent story that this verse opened up with, where Jesus says at the end of the ages, God will come with his angels. And God will say to all of us, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was homeless and you sheltered me. I was naked and you gave me clothes. That's exactly what this verse saying at the beginning. And the people listen to that. And they're excited because of the good news that God is proclaiming. And then they ask, when did this happen? The part of the song that I composed here goes like this. Lord, when did we see you wanting? Lord, when did we know your need? Lord, when did we help you? It's exactly what the gospel is saying. The people are so thrilled. The people are so happy that somehow God is a, a, approaching them and addressing them, almost thanking them for the good things that they did. They said, when did that happen? God, we're seeing you for the first time in our lives. When is it that we fed you? When is it that we sheltered you or clothed you or helped you in any way whatsoever? God, when was that? And the answer that we have from Matthew's gospel and the conclusion of this composition sings, Whenever you help these little ones, Whenever you helped these little ones, then you Whenever we help the little ones, we helped God. The readings these weeks are all leading us toward that. God plans to bring the reign of God to the earth. 
And the way God intends to do that is through us, with our help. God doesn't need our help, but God has requested our help. God has chosen to make us a part of his plan. God has chosen us to make us part of the unfolding of the kingdom, the reign of God on earth. And this year, to drive that point home on this magnificent feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, the church gives us all of these readings that tell us about our important part, but then also tell us how we're to play that part. We're to play our part by feeding the hungry, by sheltering the homeless, by giving drink to the thirsty, by caring for those who are naked, doing all in our power. Now the gospel goes on and it gets pretty tense because it says to those that did not help, you are out of my sight, and you will not receive the promises of the kingdom of God. Because I was hungry, and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty, and you did nothing about it. I was naked, and you didn't care. I was in prison, and you ran away. And then those people say, when did we see you? This is the first time we're seeing you. Whenever did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or naked, or homeless? And God says, as long as you didn't do it for the least of my brothers and sisters, you didn't do it for me. My friends, can we hear this? Can we hear the urgency that it is not up to God alone to answer the prayers of the needy of the world, but that it is our responsibility. We are to act in God's name, and we are to fulfill God's plan by the grace of God. The church gives us a first reading from the prophet Ezekiel, which, especially when we're celebrating kingship or queenship or prime ministership, whenever we're celebrating leadership in our church and in the reign of God, the church gives us Ezekiel to tell us what our leadership must resemble and it must resemble a shepherd. A shepherd is not necessarily something that you and I are very familiar with here in the United States. But we hear in Ezekiel, the Lord God saying, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among scattered sheep, so I will tend my sheep. And then goes on to say, I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I will give them rest. The lost I will seek out. The strayed I will bring back. The injured I will bind up. The sick I will heal. My friends, that's leadership in our church. That's what Pope Francis represents all the time going out to the fringes and bringing back home those that are on the outside and who feel on the outside. The leadership of our church, thank God for Pope Francis today, is being restored in a sense of going to the fringes and welcoming those who feel estranged, welcoming those who don't feel welcome, welcoming those home that no longer feel apart. That's what Ezekiel sets up for us and reminds us of what leadership in our church was always meant to be. It was meant to be servanthood. It was meant to be caring. It was meant to be healing. It was meant to be gentle. It was meant to give food where food is needed, shelter where shelter is needed, clothing, wherever that is needed. It was meant to do as much as God would do if God, God's self, were here on earth doing it. And the truth is, God is here on earth doing it because of us and because we are here. Blessings on this incredible feast of Jesus Christ, King of the universe.
blessings on your ministry in helping God, through Jesus Christ, achieve all that God intends to do. What a gift that we are a part of that. God bless you.